Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading update. Today is Thursday, October 1st. Small green day again today, booked $330.63. So really just hit a bunch of singles today, uh, not even any doubles. Really, my I had two winners, Shopify and Zoom were both $215. And then uh, my biggest loser, that was actually part of a pairs trade, but my biggest loser was AMD of minus 240. But I had a bunch of small winners in uh, 6B, the British pound, just took a little winner, just testing the micro futures there, 63 bucks. Uh, pairs trade in NASDAQ Dow, so net net uh, lost about 100, a little over 100 bucks there. In oil, QM micro took a $150 profit there, AMD minus 240. Boeing minus 90, BABA minus 200, Beyond 80, JPM 190, MU minus 170. Nike is not a day trade. That's one I've been holding and will continue to hold for uh, at least the remainder of this week and maybe into next week. Uh, Peloton 201, Roku 70, Shopify 215, Tesla 135, Uber minus 180, and Zoom plus 215. So let's take a look at what we did here. Uh, starting with 6B in the uh, futures market. So we took this one uh, right out of the gate. This was our first trade of the morning. And these these futures actually open uh, earlier than the normal stock market. So we had this big push down. And when we were in the room starting at about 830, there was this consolidation pattern under this pivot. So we wanted to see a continuation. And that's what we got here. So I captured this, uh, this there, just did a few contracts there. Those are super small. So just booked a small profit. Uh, QM in oil. So in oil, uh, price came down and started to consolidate. So I, I just cut a little piece to the downside there. Uh, AMD minus 240. What did we do in AMD? In AMD, that was a, that was a long, um, oh yeah. So we, uh, we got in. Um, right here, it was, kind of, it was holding above the pivot line here. We were looking for a continuation up and I just got flushed out right there. So just closed it out, took a loss. One thing you'll notice is, you know, what we've really been focusing on doing is, is really cutting losers really short and then just trying to let our winners run as, as long as possible. That, that I would say that's one thing that I actually did not do very well today is, is there some that I could have gotten a lot more profit, but part of it was it just, it got to about noon and I didn't want to sit in front of my computer all day. So I just kind of closed them out and then they took off a little bit after I closed them. Uh, but overall traded pretty well. Uh, Boeing, just a small loser there. Alibaba, small loser. Let's take a look at Baba. Um, let's see in Baba. What was I doing there? I was, I was trying to get short. Oh yeah. So uh, price made this big push down bounce back up to the pivot and I was really just looking for a continuation lower off that pivot but it once it pushed up above there I just I just closed it out I uh, just took a small loss there beyond meat uh, and beyond just caught a as it started to flush lower and then move sideways I just cut a little piece to the downside there uh, JP Morgan was a decent winner uh, in JP, this uh, price came into negative territory here that by this red line. Looked like it was going to stay positive. Came down and touched it. And when it stayed, when it kind of confirmed being positive again, I caught this runner here in JPM. MU minus 170. Oh, yeah. So MU, this was actually a couple different trades. Uh, is consolidating above this pivot. Kind of made a push down. And, and bounce. And so it kept making these pushes down, push down, and then getting rejected, pushing back up. So I thought we were going to get a continuation to the upside. Uh, that didn't happen. Ended up getting getting flushed out there. So I took a little loss in MU. Uh, Peloton. Peloton was a nice one. Um, this one just ended up kind of grinding, but uh, had a big push initially, started consolidating. So I got I got long right in this area here, right above the pivot. And, that's, and it worked out well. Just kind of kept wasn't a big move, wasn't a big push higher, but just kind of continued to grind higher, hit new all-time highs, and ended up just kind of closing this out about noon. Um, it's trading kind of sideways here. I, I assume it'll probably continue higher, but again, I'm just not interested in sitting in front of my computer all day. Uh, Roku booked a small winner. 
Shopify, I ended up taking a little uh, piece of Shopify here as it came down to yesterday's high, started consolidating, and I just caught a little piece here. There was a lot more to go. This is when I just closed out too early just because I wanted to be done for the day. Uh, Tesla was the same way. Uh, this is one that really took off, but it, 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 it was showing signs of kind of weakness all day, just kind of slide and slide, and then it finally it, it made a big charge higher, and when it pulled back here, I got long right in this area here, and I just rode it back up to this recent high, so I just kind of rode it up here, booked a little profit, but I missed this entire move just because I wanted to be done for the day, which, you know, that happens, and that's okay. Uh, uh, Uber, a little bit of a loser. And in Uber, what were we trying to do? We were trying to get long here on Uber. Oh, yeah. So uh, as it just kind of came down, I was just trying to pick a spot to get long here. A little bit more counter trend, a little bit different than I usually trade, but ended up getting just flushed out there. So I took a small loss on Uber. Um, actually, that was two different trades. One was a winner. One was a loser. Uh, net, net. Um, actually, I'm sorry. That is that is not correct. That was I was thinking of a different stock. This was this was actually a, a mighty ninety trade where price price made an initial push higher, pulled back, and then I was looking for a continuation. Uh, I I ended up trying to add to the position down here, never got filled, and it did bounce. And so I took a loss on this initial piece. Made a uh, uh, I did I did get filled on my ad right here, and so caught some of that for the winning piece. But net net. Uh, $180 loser. So, and then lastly, Zoom. Uh, this is kind of a similar to what I was talking about on MU, except for this one worked out where we kept getting these pushes lower, pushes lower, pushes lower, and then it would rebound back into positive territory. Like it, it wanted to test the waters of being negative, but then just jump back up. And so we ended up, we got, got stopped out one time. And then when it pushed back up here, it got back in and, and caught some of this up move here. It came down and I caught some of this here. So all in all, plus $330 and 63 cents, a decent little green day. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise we'll be live trading again tomorrow on Friday. See you there.